We start our last day of our ride after a great night's sleep in the warm desert just outside Hole in the Rock. We also woke up to a few unexpected guests in camp provided by Mother Nature. <laughs> there you son of a bitch. He won't come out. Oh, he likes his normal. Oh my gosh. Dude, just gross. get out of there. Ah, there he goes. Dude, don't even, Ray. Oh, Ray. <laughs> We start by taking Hole in the Rock Road back to Escalani, where we gas up and get some breakfast at the Circle D Eatery. After a nice relaxing breakfast, we're back on the road. From Escalani, we backtrack towards Hell's Backbone. We turn off on a road that'll take us high up into the mountains and eventually drops us down into Loa, Utah. This gravel dirt road offers lots of lakes and wide open meadows between the masses of trees. We then decided to take a quick break at scenic Posey Lake. We make it down into Loa and continue north to get ourselves right back into the high mountain canyon roads in Fish Lake National Forest. This route through Fish Lake provides amazing forest views as well as nice windy road sections. hooks onto I-70 where we head east for a short stretch and get off where we'll start our route along Skyline Drive. The Utah Skyline Drive is a route that runs approximately 100 miles along the top plateau of the Wasatch Mountains through the Manti LaSalle National Forest. This drive ranges from 9,000 to 11,000 feet, which makes it one of the highest roads in the U.S. It's also home to many lakes, meadows, and amazing forest landscapes. Because this road is so high in elevation, there are few times during the year when you can travel the entire route because of the snow. If timed right, you can travel Skyline Drive as far north as Tucker, Utah. Because we were a little early, we ended up dropping out of Skyline Drive just above Mayfield to avoid hitting snow. Mayfield, we take country roads north through the historic towns of Manti and Ephraim.
Heading west from here takes us across more grazing and farmlands, which takes us to Nephi Canyon. From there, we can hop back over on the Nilo Loop, which drops us back down into Payson. That completes the 1,000 mile Dirty Devil Adventure Ride. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the RM Rides adventures. Check out our blog for the GPS files and all the information you need to plan your own Dirty Devil ride. The blog also offers historical information and points of interest on the ride. Thanks for watching.